The U.S. homeless population is growing for the first time since the end of the Great Recession in 2010. A one-night government census earlier this year counted nearly 554,000 homeless people. Now, that's up nearly 1 percent from 2016. This is what surging homelessness looks like in Silicon Valley. Take a look at this. People living in RVs parked along major streets. Maria Viriel shows us how the high cost of housing is fueling the crisis. English professor Ellen James Penny is the kind of teacher whose job goes far beyond okay. simple classroom instruction. And I love it. And I love my students. They drive me nuts, but I love them. So this is essay one. But her campus at San Jose State University is located right in the middle of Silicon Valley, where tech giants like Google, Facebook, and Apple have helped drive housing prices to stratospheric highs. The housing takes up three quarters of my monthly income. So to stay here and to teach, which is what I love, I have to live in the car. Three nights a week, this is her routine. After her four classes end, James Penny, along with her husband and two dogs, sets up camp in a church parking lot near campus. Okay. Her 65-year-old husband, Jim, can't work because of a back injury. So when it comes time to grade papers, her office is this 2004 Volvo. Being homeless and trying to teach here is almost impossible. We are seeing people who are being forced either to move out of the area completely, fall into homelessness, or find some way to make life work for them. Tom Myers runs a social services agency in Mountain View, the home of Google and the town next to San Jose. This is surprising. Yes. It's a major thoroughfare. It's a major thoroughfare here in Mountain View. At last count by government officials, there were more than 300 of these RVs on the streets of Mountain View. Some estimate there are more than 1,000 all over Silicon Valley. Ten years ago, we were serving somewhere around three to 4,000 people. Uh, today, we're serving uh, close to 10,000 people More than tripled. Year. Yes, exactly. Most of that growth has been in the last few years. Housing experts say it's a problem of supply and demand. California officials estimate the state needs to build about 180,000 new housing units each year to keep up with population growth. On average, developers are building less than 80,000 per year. The result? A current gap of one and a half million units between families who need housing and rentals they can afford. Ray Pearl is with the California Housing Consortium. I think the incentive is there to build. I think the policies that the state of California has enacted makes it incredibly difficult to get that housing built. You keep your, your life yeah. up here. Ellen James Penny has tried unsuccessfully to get teaching jobs elsewhere in the country. But even if she gets one, giving up and moving won't be easy. This is what happens if I want to stay and do what I do. And you do want to stay? Yes. I'm fourth generation Californian and I'm being shoved out? You're not going to let that happen. Trying not to. Trying not to. Night. Night. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, San Jose, California. Something's very out of whack there, that you can be a professor at San Jose State University or any university right. and be living in your car and having to shower in a church. Right. Right. No those, sense. Those aren't the images that you expect when you no. think of Silicon Valley either. And I'm glad we did this story because people who are working um, are trying to make a real living and are having trouble living. Yeah. Finding a place to stay. Thank you, Maria.